Yo, what up, what up, what up, though, y'all? So check this out on today's episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. I'm about to show y'all how to make some salmon croquette patties. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them, you know, a little fried, little circle, little fried, little fish. I'm about to show y'all motherfuckers how to make that. Some of y'all motherfuckers probably like it, some of y'all probably don't. And some of y'all know how to make it, and some of y'all probably won't. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show y'all a quick way less than $15 on how to make this quick, little, easy dish at the motherfucking crib. Hey, stay tuned, then, y'all. I ain't going to miss this. All right, y'all, so first things first, I ain't even going to play with you. Make sure your motherfucking kitchen counter surface is clean before you do anything in your motherfucking kitchen. All right, now, getting to the point, we about to do these salmon patties. We got some motherfucking key ingredients. I don't know what y'all use at y'all crib, but right now, we are using onions, peppers, scallions, motherfucking red pepper. We got motherfucking hot sauce. We got some ginger in there. We got some mustard in there, man. We got the works, dog. So, look, check this out. We got to mix it on up, mash it on up. Look at that garlic in there with them scallions and them red, green, and yellow peppers. All right. Mm-hmm. About to get to it. Throw that motherfucking can away. We don't need that. Make sure you get rid of them bones because I'm telling you, that'll make the whole experience bad. All right. So, check this out. Mix this up. Now, if you ain't dice your onions down or you ain't dice your peppers down real small, don't worry about it because once they get hot, they're going to get soft and they're going to get small. All right. So, put a little bit of lemon juice in there. All right, so look, I ain't even going to lie. Whatever you use to make your motherfucking salmon at your crib, if you're putting it in the oven, that's the same thing you're going to use while you're about to make these patties. The only difference is we mashing it up and we're going to patty them out like some motherfucking burgers. All right? Put that motherfucking hot sauce in there. All right, that's going to that's gonna give it the perfect flavor. I'm telling you, man, I got hot sauce in my swag. All right? With your mustard, put that mustard in there, but make sure you get that clear water off first because I ain't eating it if you're going to take it out. Mustard basically lock in all your seasonings and your flavor, and it basically helps keep your patty nice pattied up like a circle. You know what I mean? Like a hamburger. Paprika don't do nothing but change color of your food and give it like a smoky flavor, but you really don't pay no attention to it for real, though. But it's fancy. Oh, yeah, we got some motherfucking ginger. Use use ginger, but don't use a lot, though. You know what I mean? It might look like I used a lot, but I didn't. Ours was clumped up, but I'm just trying to break it on up, make sure we got the right amount in there. And we got some motherfucking uh, um, red little chili flakes, chili pepper flakes, right? That's good. Don't put too much in there. You don't want to ruin it. You want to be able to enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Get some Old Bay seasoning. Yeah, that's right. Now, you don't want to put too much in there. You still want it to taste like fish, but you want to accent it with all your seasonings. Lemon pepper is good. You know, that is, that's going to supplement your regular black pepper. That's going to give it a nice flavor. Oh, yeah, we got the Zatarain's fish fry. Now, what we're about to do with that, we're going to mix it in there. That's going to help it fry better. Okay? But make sure you get some motherfucking eggs. Eggs help everything bind together. Binding means sticks together. So when you fry it, it don't come apart. All right? So get you two eggs. I'm using one can. That's like 16 ounces. That's a pound of fish in a can. All right, that's cool. All right? Right? Check that out. Bam. Toss that away. Mm-hmm. Toss that away. Okay. Right? Go ahead and mix it on up. You don't got to use your fingers. You can use a fork. Now, check that out. You see the texture of that? You probably don't, but just make sure it's textured enough like some ground beef, ground turkey, but you want to patty it out. Oh, yeah, get some cornmeal. That way, once you fry this motherfucking uh, patty, it don't burn. It help it last long, and if you want to eat it cold... It'll stay together, right? All right, that's cool. So a little bit of cornmeal, but not too much. Because cornmeal tastes like motherfucking sand. All right, so now that we got them patted on out, we're going to sit them to the side. Make sure we got our skillet going. We got some garlic in there, but we also got some motherfucking vegetable oil. All right. No, we, oh, we got olive oil in there tonight. That's right. All right, so make sure you got enough in there, but you don't want to drench it. You just want to saute them a little bit because it's fish, and it will fry pretty good if you fry it slowly. So we really want to use about 15 minutes of our time to make sure it's right at a slow, like medium temperature. Now, some vegetables, make sure you cut them all up. You don't got to. You know, not make no difference to your dish or not, but we're doing it just so we can have a little bit of texture so we can get a little bit of full off this fast snack. Check that out. And we ain't even playing with y'all motherfuckers. All right, let's just check this out. If y'all doing like we doing at the motherfucking crib, y'all doing it the right motherfucking way. Hey, so stay tuned in to the next episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. Oh, yeah, make sure you flip the motherfuckers evenly. You don't want them to burn on one side. Make sure you like and subscribe.